Okay, Alex, nerd confession uh -huh. time. Yes. When I was in college, I worked at Medieval Times. Not surprised. Yes, I dressed up. <laughs> and I always thought it'd be really cool to see a reality TV show set in the castle. Okay, Julie, your dream has literally come true because now ordinary people can become a knight when they get thrown into a Renaissance era castle for the quest. These are people pulled out of regular life and we put them in the world that they dream of. Everrealm was a fantasy world that they completely immersed us in. This is wild. Do you see anything? To make us believe almost as if we did take a plane to like a country that we never knew existed. Ah, ah. Just everything about this fictional world was not fictional. It was 1 million percent real. We were 100% submerged from the very beginning. We lived in a castle, like a real castle. And it really helps you appreciate those things like phones, but you realize you don't need it, especially when you're in Everrealm, especially when you're trying to be a hero. What was it like to enter into this like geek fantasy world? It was awesome. I mean, I've considered myself an undercover kind of geek nerd. <laughs> so to bring it out and be able to show it to the world was kind of cool. <laughs> I would say the best part is being able to live in that world. You know, as, as a geek myself, I, I've always wanted that. That's what you want for yourself. You work in a renaissance fair, you want to live in the renaissance, you know? <laughs> what did you learn all these things? My imagination. It was really satisfying to be able to do that.